I'm back in this bitch. I'm back in this bitch. That too, and it and it and it sound it, it even goes deeper. You know what I'm saying? Because that could be another uh, outlet of cheating if somebody just never has time for you. Or shit. Um, I go a step further. Um, the things that y'all used to do, y'all no longer do. Y'all no longer spend time together. Y'all no longer talk as much. Because mind you, this girl was. When I tell you, this girl was head over heels for me. Um, uh, the fucking the girl, the Lena girl, I was talking about. Mm -hmm. She's head over heels for me. Like when we first got together, we talked literally from morning to night. Like when I went to sleep, she actually would get mad at me that I went to sleep before her. <laughs> um, that turned into not talking to me at all and sending two messages a day. Uh, two messages a day, and then fucking adding up to 10 messages a fucking week and then we just never fucking spoke like that was it um that actually perfectly segues into my story time uh let's get it man when me and elena broke up the second time because we broke up three times um that first time was when she said she was bored with me um the second time was uh she was talking about a, a, a that yeah that marriage she had wound up going to her home country or whatever to fucking getting married, so called. So I said, Yeah, I'm not gonna be with you. You can be with the other motherfucker. I'm straight, you're good. I wound up leaving when I wound up uh getting the courage to leave Elena. I wound up getting with a girl called her name was her nickname was Mello. Uh spelled M E L L O. And literally like Carmelo. Uh Carmelo. I was nickname. thinking about this so, the whole time. <laughs> right. Whole time that's what I was thinking about the whole time. I'm like Mello, what the fuck, nigga? I, it's the hell. So um Mello. She was this Puerto Rican girl that was, you know, she was not to be too I mean, man, fuck her actually. I'm be specific as hell. She was uh she was a Puerto Rican girl. She was she was cute, like she was a smooth eight out of ten. Um unlike Elena, me and her fate, like we 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 did video chats a lot, and she actually had time to speak to me. So I made it very like public. Like I told my cousin about her. I told my um, I know as soon as I say I told my cousin about her, y'all probably thinking, oh, did he try to steal her? It's like shit. But uh <laughs> yeah, we, we don't nah. put that past him. We don't. No, nah, no, nah, we we never did that shit to uh, to each other anymore after that. But um um yeah, uh I told and I actually wound up telling telling Elena. Elena got jealous when I said that I was with um, um Mello. She was jealous as hell. She was like, uh, why are you with her? Like, I don't want you with her no more. So I I, I told Elena she'd go fuck herself pretty much. I was like, nigga, I I'm 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 happy. Like, give a like, get a fuck on somewhere. So um Mello was we that was another long distance relationship, but it actually was like kind of working out, sort of kind of. Because Mello, like she, she worked and shit like that, and she would fake, she would video chat me on her break and shit like that. Like she would video chat me on her break, and then she would video chat me going back into her job and clocking in. And she would even sneak to like fake, like video chat with me. I say video chat because we weren't FaceTiming. It was, it, it's probably more popular to say FaceTime, but we were video chatting. It was on, this shit was on Kick. Uh, if y'all remember what that social media app was, I thought she was about to say Oof or something, bro. No nah, hell no. Nah. Um, it was on <laughs> kick. The back then. Man, all the all the all the uh, everybody had at least one girlfriend or boyfriend off a of kick or hoes or some shit off a of kick at least. Shit. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, I was talking to her off kick. I was. She would video chat me. She would try to video chat with me like all throughout the day, pretty much. Like she would get off of work and then she would wait for her mom to pick her up or her stepmom to pick her up, and then her stepmom would take her home and she would hide her phone in her pocket. So, like, she could, like, talk to me on headphones and shit like that. But at that point, like, what are you hiding from? So she was, um, she was talking, but she was making it sound discreet because she was, like, talking to me. But she was, she was, to her mom, she was making it seem like she was talking to, like, uh, like her brother or some shit like that. Right. So if I said something, like, freaky to her, she would, she would have to brush it off or something, like, or sure, say something, like, something subtle. Like, oh, ha, 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 like you have big muscles or something like that. If I was talking about my dick or something like that, she was like, like yeah, your muscles, your muscles are really big or some shit or some shit like that. So I'm like, man, this is so That was pretty much the code that let you know she was around her mama or some shit. Yeah, exactly. Um, but that was whenever she wanted to like extend conversation because I mean, no one has an interesting conversation all throughout. That's, that 
don't exist. No one's able to hold a conversation the whole fucking time. When as soon as it, there's relationships like that, where as soon as you like have nothing else to talk about, y'all just go y'all separate ways, or you just stop talking. Right. <laughs> it's like, all right, nigga, I'll talk to you tomorrow or some shit. Right. Um, but um, uh, me and Mella were going smooth and shit like that, and it was it was it was a time where like we we had a lot in common. She she liked wrestling. Her favorite wrestler was Jeff Hardy and shit. And this was at the time where Jeff Hardy was wrestling in TNA and shit. And uh, and, and Jeff Hardy was like sort of kind of like, yeah, no, he was gone. He was gone from never me. And her favorite uh, artist was Justin Bieber type shit. So um, I remember, I don't know if we had a space or I don't know if me, you were just having a conversation about it. But I remember it was a topic where we said there was a um like when there's a song that gets ruined for you um, because of somebody else. And I yeah, said that definitely something. happened to me. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a song that got ruined for me. And then there was a time where, yeah, she, um, no, 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 no. That was, that was Jamila. I was thinking about, she had ruined uh, Joji's uh, dancing in the dark. I love that fucking song. I can't listen to it no more because of her. Um she had tried to put me because she said me and Mello had said me and her song was uh Water by Justin Bieber. That was a space where um, we had that conversation, yeah. Cause I was saying uh this girl that I the girl that I went to Brown with, like there's a song by Chris Brown and Seven Streeter called It Won't Stop. That that was that was our shit <laughs> when I was with her. But like pretty much ever since yeah, I bro. broke up with her, I ain't listened to that song since. <laughs> it's been seven years. Wow. I ain't played that song for like 10 seconds. <laughs> I just can't fuck with it because all I'm gonna think about is her. I would, I would rather not hear it. Damn, that that's sad too. That that's a stigma. But I remember the song was called Cold Water. Um, it was a song that was pretty big on the radio. Um, every time she'd listen to it, she just would be like, "Oh, this is our song. This has to be our song because, oh, uh, you know." Um, so whenever she would be sad and shit, I would just recite the lyrics to her, and she would just like get over whatever the fuck was going on with her and shit like that right. type shit. Ever since then, I'm glad that song's off the radio too. Thank God. Um, no one even rest, no one references the fucking song anything. Like, it's, it's just gone. But uh, um, Mello, I felt as if like I couldn't trust her for real because it eventually came to a point where Mello started to stop talking to me as much. And I was like, you know what, bro? Like, I don't like she used to be on my ass, but now she's not. So that made me, and I don't know fucking uh, autumn shit where I just like, oh no, okay, she's she's, she's <laughs> let me go ahead and the other bitches. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, they went on no shit like that. So I had I had been like, uh, mind you, okay, I I was on demon. I don't even gonna say demon time. I I had a demon decade. I ain't gonna lie. To you. <laughs> uh, shit. Um. Shit. Uh. So. I said, fuck it, because my brother had told me about this, like, uh, second app thing where you could text off of a different number and shit. So um, I wound up using the app to uh, catfish mellow type shit. So um, I had, I had, I had, like, made up a name. I was, hit the, the, the nigga's name was, was, uh was Melvin, I think, or some shit like that. It was Melvin or Juan or some shit. No, uh, Carlos. There we go. Those Carlos. three names are drastically fucking different. <laughs> Talking about Mel, it was either Melvin, Juan, or Carlos. <laughs> How are those three? <laughs> How yeah, are shit, was those just... three names? <laughs> <laughs> it was a Mexican. It was a Mexican name. It, had to have been a, it was a Mexican name. It had to have been. Oh, funny God. enough. <laughs> funny enough. I I went. <laughs> it was I went Melvin, very far. Juan or Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin, not even a damn Mexican name. I'm, I'm <laughs> bullshit. Juan or Carlos? It had to be one of them two names. But it was, it was. I'm, 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 I have my money on it. Me and Carlos. So, um, uh, yeah, I picked Carlos. Now, funny enough, it was a, it was a nigga talking to me on on Kick. Funny, it was this gay nigga that uh, was talking to me on Kick, and uh. I asked him for a favor. I said, bro, send me a picture. I need I need a picture to use to like fucking like use for this fucking number that I'm using. And she was he was like, all right, cool. Because he was gay. When I tell okay, I'll tell you me and his history. That shit was this nigga was like actively trying to get with me. So uh, I, I, I had like, a gay nigga come on to me before. I think he used to give me hella discounts at this seafood restaurant I used to like going to. I was like, this nigga, <laughs> you got a crush on me or some shit? Like, I was getting like, fucking, like six, <laughs> I was getting like sixteen dollars worth of food for two dollars. Like, that nigga was hooking me up. 
Uh, and damn, then he asked shit. me for my number and shit. And then he asked, we were, when we was texting, he asked for my age. I said 16. That nigga stopped talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, you know, nigga put like a frowning face and everything. He was like, oh, you're 16. Okay, that's cool. And then he just, oh my God. he didn't never talk. He never <laughs> talked to me after that. I never I forgot, never but it was some light skinned nigga named Sam. I, I never forgot that shit. <laughs> I was, com- I was completely work. oblivious to the whole shit. I thought he was just a nice guy. That's why he was always hooking me up. But then this motherfucker that asked for my number trying to talk to me all the time and shit. But then once I said I was 16, the communication like oh, became hell, non-existent. <laughs> it was the weirdest shit ever, bro. Nigga wasn't trying to wind up on Dateline NBC type which, shit. Which I actually commend him for that. It's, I, when I tell you, as soon as I told him he was 16, he stopped talking to me. It was like instant. And I stopped getting discounts at the seafood place too. <laughs> oh wow! That yeah. is, but it, 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 it literally felt like the nigga had a crush on me, and then he stopped liking me when I said I was sixteen. I didn't even get the discount I mean, no more. I was like, "Damn, nigga!" <laughs> I respect that he just stopped like trying because it's, yeah. it's people that will keep going. Yeah, so I respect that he just they took the hint and just stopped giving a fuck. But uh, Carlos, uh, the 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 person like the real uh fucking person. Um, I forget what his name was. I ain't gonna lie to you. He wasn't that important to me. But um, yeah, he uh, he had sent me that picture. I actually wound up asking him for like 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 ten pictures type shit, because in any event where she asked for different pictures, I already have pictures to use type shit. I already had this shit in my head planned, bro. So <laughs> I sent after mine. I, I, I sent the first picture, and she she, she uh, like uh, mind you, I'm talking to uh, I'm talking to Melo as Carlos. Um, I'm using like, uh, she, she's still talking to me as me, but I'm using this other second number where she's talking to her. I'm talking to her as a whole new person. So, um, she's, she, she's talking to Carlos and she's all cool. I start flirting with her as Carlos and shit. So she's, so she's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, thank you. But I have a boyfriend. Um, and, and then as Carlos, I'm like, well, I mean, uh, what's wrong with having a side, a side, a side nigga? What's that wrong with having a side boyfriend? And she was like, "I guess nothing." I was so look. That was your cue to slide in right there. So I guess nothing. <laughs> nah, you would you would think you would think once I got the confirmation, I would have just been like, "Oh no, it's me talking to you." Like get the fuck on somewhere, but no, I fucked with her. I I, I kept this shit going for months, mind you. Okay, <laughs> so I, I um. So I had, I had said, right. I was like, um, <laughs> I told her, I was like, I was as Carlos. I'm like, I'm like, um, uh, Mello, like you're super beautiful. And I feel like you deserve better. And that guy that you're with right now, he doesn't do that much for you. Um, and I was like, uh, uh, um, I'm not in the same state as you. I'm in the same state as that guy. But, uh, mind you, shit, I, I, I was selling myself. Like I was pretty much just telling to myself because how the fuck would he know who I am? Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she was so oblivious to this shit. She didn't even fucking know. So she was like, she was like, um. So as Carlos, I, I told Mello, I was like, I love you. I want to, I want to be with you forever. Type shit. So, um, as myself, I was already telling Mello this type of shit. Like I was already, I was already telling her that she how much she meant to me. Type of shit. And she was reciprocating and telling me how much I meant to her. Type of shit. So. As Carlos, she she she's telling Carlos. Every single oh. time you say "ask Carlos," that should make me laugh because you're really good at jumping in and out of character. <laughs> right. <laughs> so as as a reminder, ask Carlos. So let me keep throwing that. Right. As, right. Ask Carlos. Uh, as Carlos, she wound up telling Carlos, uh, um, uh, how much uh, you know, Carlos had meant to her and shit, and it was like, oh, like, uh, you mean a lot to me too, mind you. Her and Carlos have only spoke to, were only speaking to each other for like two weeks. Me and Mello were together for like three months at this point. So it took her two weeks to be as enamored with Carlos as she was with me. So, <laughs> um, and it hurts worse because I'm getting every single one of these responses. So I, I even got Mello to tell me a story about like, um, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 like some infidelity that she did at her job one time. And the fucked up part was the infidelity that she had at her job was like a month, a month prior. Like it was a month ago. Um, I was with her for three months. So the shit was two months into me and her being together, what she, what she had did with somebody. And then as Carlos, I asked her what her boyfriend's name was. She had said, a, she had said a different nigga's name. 
she said some nigga named uh, 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 Jonathan or some shit like that. I'm like, huh? I'm sitting here. I'm like, bro, no fucking way. She's cheating on. She's already like, she's already cheating on me with me, pretty much. But she's cheating on <laughs> on Car. She's cheating on Jonathan Carlos, nigga too, and Carlos. Right, she's cheating on. She's cheating on Carlos with fucking Jonathan. I'm like, you're cheating on my character right now. So, um, uh, what wound up happening was, uh, uh, I had I had told I had told Mello that I wanted to that uh, as Carlos I wanted to uh, you know come to her state. <laughs> I as Carlos, told you I was laughing. There. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as Carlos, <laughs> per Carlos, nigga, fucking. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say on the other side at this fucking no, it's point. Cool. Uh, you say as Carlos. That's <laughs> funny. You say as Carlos. As Carlos. <laughs> it's fucking sad, bro. It's sad as Carlos. Fucking pathetic. Um as Carlos, I told her, I'm like, um, I, I told her that I was gonna pull up on her. I was like, I'm I'm coming to your state and I want to see you. And she was so happy. She was like, Yeah, I want to see you too. Honestly, I want to get married to you, type shit. She wants to get married to a nigga she had known for fucking two, three weeks. But with me, she was tentative about it. I'm like, nigga, what? So she had asked for more pictures of Carlos. I sent the other pictures that I got. It's probably people in the comment section are going to be like, this gay as hell to ask from a, for, 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 for pictures from a, from a dude. But shit, it wasn't, shit, I ain't gay, so it wasn't like I fucking sent pictures back. Funny enough, he actually did ask me for pictures. I said, oh, okay, buddy. All right, have a nice life. And I mean him to stop talking. So uh th- that nigga, yeah, he he disappeared. But um yeah, I had texted uh I sent like three pictures off, so of the ten that I had. So I only right. had like what a like, fucking what fucking four pictures left because it was already four sent to her. So I had six left. So she was like, Oh, you look good. Oh, blah blah blah. Because um this is probably the gay part. Uh d- <laughs> ch- uh <laughs> The, the nigga had sent me a picture of his fucking, like, his abs and shit. So, um, fucking, I didn't ask for that fucking picture, but I said, you know what? Picture, yeah. I said, I said, it, it works, because it's gonna fucking, it, it, if I send that, it's gonna fucking work. Mello had this fascination for V-cuts, like, on the, um, like, on the, uh, the, the waist yeah. Uh, yeah, and shit. <laughs> she had a, she had a fascination for V-cuts, so if you had, like, a deep V-cut, she loved that shit. Uh, at the time, I was skinny and I was kind of like in shape and shit. So I had a nice V cut. Uh, I'm not. I mean, this gay as hell to talk about. But uh, fucking, <laughs> bro, you, 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 you grown, bro. I know you know no gay shit like that. It's cool, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, uh, shit. That's pretty much. That's the, I, I. When I say that, that's like the equivalent of saying my dick is long, bro. Like uh, shit. If, if only you saw, like, bro, that shit. This shit's long. <laughs> I mean, as no. Hell. If you actually said something that direct, because I would be like, calm down. But you know, you ain't gonna right. that, the, Yeah, the season over at that point, bro. No, no more, <laughs> no more booming chaos, nigga. That's it. Like it's canceled. The guy going another fucking four month hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even. Nigga. Some gay shit happened. It's over. Nigga. <laughs> right. Cancel indefinitely. But, Right, yeah, shit. Until until we find another host type shit. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I sent the picture of the abs and shit. I, he didn't send no other fucking pictures. He didn't send no pictures of his balls and dick or nothing like that. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. he wasn't that. He he wasn't that fucking reckless. But he sent a picture of his abs and his fucking like his his hairline and not his hairline, but like his hair with his haircut and shit. Dude had a smooth ass haircut. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna front. He had waves. <laughs> Now so, that sounds gay. <laughs> I mean, he, he had a fucking he had a he had waves and shit, and his shit was like like temp like faded and shit. So it was like, all right, bro, this shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit was shit looked nice. Um, it's at the point where um, I sent those pictures to Melo, and she seen how his body looked, and she was she was head over heels over Carlos. I <laughs> when I was texting well, I was texting her as myself. She seemed interested. She seemed like she wanted to talk. She fucking she 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 didn't like to like talk to me on the phone no more. Like she she barely had time for it. So um mind you, as Carlos, uh she I never asked her out as Carlos. They were just flirting with each other. But she was pretty much spilling the beans on everything that like Melo was telling me everything that she was doing. She was telling me that she has she has sucked some dude's dick in the car um on her lunch break, a customer's dick in the car that she had just met. That's the um, oh wow. She had sucked the customer's dick in the car. She had sucked her ex-boyfriend's dick a couple times. Um, 
Um, she had fucked a she had fucked a whole other person. Um, she had told a story where she has she she like she pretty much loved going over her ex boyfriend's house and just simply just suck his, suck him off and shit. And and would and the, and 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 she would get nothing in return. Like she wouldn't get fucked or nothing. She would literally just go over there to suck this nigga off, and you know, and and that's it. And um, mm-hmm. she so she pretty much was cheat. So if y'all are counting, Melo has cheated on me. If we're counting with Carlos, she's cheating on me exactly about four or five times, and she's still not done. This is not even the worst part. That's not the um, worst part. <laughs> no, it's not the worst part. Um, I had played some scenario where I myself was like dying or some shit like that, or I, I made up that I had like some like uh like I, I had a heart attack or something like that, and I was like I was like I'm dying. Like, I'm fucking dying, man. I'm dying. And Mello, like, she seemingly cares. Like, she's going off. So, as Carlos, I text her. I'm like, what's going on? Like, I- I'm asking her. I'm, I'm asking Mello. I'm like, what are you doing? Mello says, oh, I'm not doing nothing. Uh, Mello tells me that she's crying and shit. As Carlos, I'm texting her, asking her what she's doing. And Mello's telling me, oh, I'm not doing nothing. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning my, I'm drying off my clothes right now. And <laughs> so, she's, 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 she's going crazy. To me, real me, but, but to Carlos, Carlos she's perfectly normal. She's not chill- doing shit. Yeah, she's chilling. She's chilling. She's not doing nothing. So she's like <laughs> chilling. So, uh, so as Carlos, so I make sure, like as Carlos, so I text her. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you're fine. Like you're not sad or nothing. Um, she says, <laughs> hey, you want to hear this and say? <laughs> she nah, said, are you sure there's nothing going on? With you positive? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mello, Mello has said straight up. She was like, no, I'm fine. I'm like, I'm, I'm, he's like, yeah, I'm really good. And then, um, as Carlos, I asked for a picture of her, and, and, and Melo sent a picture of her face and shit. And just to just just for good measure, uh, as Carlos, I asked for some nudes from from Melo, and she sent like he, like whatever nude that nigga Carlos asked for. I asked her to bend over a table. She sent a picture of that. I, I asked her to fucking sit on a seat. She sent a picture of that. I asked her to fucking deep throw her damn fingers. She sent a picture of that. She already had everything. All that shit <laughs> just in the chamber. She definitely did. She definitely <laughs> fucking did. Because I because uh, because uh, um eventually. Um, you could have gotten on kick and asked people to uh, send a picture through the kick camera, and that that would have meant that that shit was like took it right then and there. But right. she she sent some she sent them fucking shit off her camera roll and shit. It showed you that she, they sent off the camera roll. Yeah, that type of shit. Or, she or already of, had them yeah, yeah. So, um, probably not the damn deep throat in the fingers picture. That shit was probably new. But uh, <laughs> knowing her, it probably wasn't. But um, so as myself, I'm still dying and shit. So. <laughs> I had told her eventually. I was, I was, I told Melo. I was like, I'm fine. I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm all right now. And she was like, Oh my god. I, I'm, I was like, I'm so glad you're okay. Like, I was really, I'm, I was really on the ground crying, and I was, oh, I was praying to god. god. She said, she said, she said she was praying to God, and she, she had texted her mom and said that she was, that she was getting a ticket to come down to where I was at to, uh, to, to, to come live with me and make sure I was okay and shit. I said, Nigga, oh my. At this point, like. I don't love Melo. Like, if if y'all could tell, I don't love Melo no more. I'm I'm not fucking. I don't care about Melo no more. Um, funny enough, uh, I wound up like preparing myself to get back with Elena because Elena wanted to get back with me, but I I didn't want to get with Elena while I was with Melo because at that that's cheating at that point. Like, I'm like fucking Melo <laughs> cheating on me so many fucking times. So uh, to this day, Mel, uh, I say it at the end, but um, Melo. After the whole little fake heart attack shit, I waited. I waited and waited. And then I told Mel, I asked Mello as myself, I asked Mello for a dude. This bitch said that she she was busy. I said, <laughs> Are you fucking? I'm, I'm, I'm like, like, this bitch is cold, <laughs> cutting the shit out of me. She won't send me a new with Carlos, whatever the fuck he wants. So I'm like, So what is, I, what is ironic about this shit is that Carlos, the, the real Carlos, is gay. <laughs> So I'm like, bro, no fucking way, nigga. So um, I'm like, all right, bro. Like, this is crazy. So uh, time goes on, and I'm, I'm keeping this shit going. So it's finally time for Carlos and, and Corey to meet. So uh, uh, I, I texted uh, Melo as Carlos, and I said, uh, uh, Mello, I, I found out who your boyfriend is. Does this, uh, I sent, to, I sent, as Carlos, I sent him a picture of me. I was like, is, is this the nigga that you're with? And she was like, she was like, no, I don't know who that is. 
<laughs> I actually thought she wasn't yeah. going to respond. Wow. Again, more heartbreak because she said that she didn't know who I was, and she was like, uh, "Cut this shit, Melo. I know exactly who he is. I know, I know who he is. I, 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 I'm friends with him. I, I know who. I mean, uh, I know who he is. I texted him yesterday, and he said he said that he's with you. Uh, and she was like, she was like, okay, yes, that is my boyfriend. I just didn't want, I just didn't want to tell you because I, honestly, I was gonna break up with him today. Um, <laughs> fucking, she said that shit like that's as casual as going to the store. Like, oh yeah, I was, I was about to break up with him at some point today. Right. She, like- and she and, and and then when I said when she said that when she said that I, I texted her as myself and I was like, hey, Melo, what's going on? Are you okay? And she she was all like, yeah, I'm I'm fine. At that point, uh, she already right. know that you and Carlos know each other, so she was already thinking something was up. So, um, no, 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 not even, because here's the crazy part. Um, I made up this fucking scenario where Carlos wanted to fucking fight me. So, as Carlos, I, I said, I'm about to pull up to his state and kill that nigga. So, <laughs> fucking, so at that point, Melo's going like, going like, shit, do what you gotta do. That shit broke my heart right there. Yeah, it, do what I, you gotta I was do. Beyond, yeah, that shit's already... I was, I was beyond her. I was beyond like her cheating on me. Like that already had fucking tore the, my fucking heart out my chest. And even hearing her, her fucking like doing that shit to me Man, multiple fucking times. Is, too. That that shit didn't really get to me because I, I felt like she was trying to hide my identity. But then when it got to the point where 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 Carlos wanted to kill me, um, and she just was like, she was like, <laughs> she was I like, love that you keep saying it's like this is a different person. She, she was like, she was like, yeah, bro. Like she at that point, and she heard, I heard that she she had said that, and she just said, man, shit, handle business, make it quick, I guess. I thought she was gonna I, say I like, there, like, uh, I thought she was gonna say it very like uh, nonchalantly. It was like, no, nah, don't do that. Like, you know, leave him alone. But she talking about shit. Hey, go ahead. I ain't gonna stop you. Shit. Damn. 